Here's a quick tour of the mods I've made to my 2019 Honda CBR 1000RR Fireblade Standard Edition. Matte black color, I like to call it Night Fury. I've basically done some protective as well as aesthetic mods, mostly aimed towards making the bike look a bit stealthy. No performance mods yet because I'm fairly new at riding leader class motorcycles and its current peak power and performance is way beyond my reach so far. So I still have a long way to go before I can think about upgrading its performance because it has plenty so far. So, uh, so far now on I have done some changes to increase safety of the motorcycle and do a bit of personalization to suit my style. So let's start from the front uh, of the motorcycle. Uh, the first mod I have uh, is replacing the OEM windscreen with the Puj Racing windscreen. It's the dark smoke color. It is see-through, so translucent, not really opaque. It looks like it's opaque from a distance, but it isn't. I love it as it complements the matte black color and looks way better than the OEM screen. Plus, uh, it's a bit higher than the OEM screen, so it has better aerodynamics, and the material is vision-corrected, so it has little to no uh, blur or distortion when you look through it. Then I removed the OEM mirrors and put on these RNG mirror blanks. I don't really like the mirrors on this bike. They look nice, but don't have much practical use as they uh, don't... Uh, spread out wide enough and most of the time I only saw my elbows and arms in, in them instead of traffic behind so I got rid of them completely instead. Uh, then on the right handlebar I've put on a lever guard again by RNG. It's a standard universal molded lever guard. Matches with the bike, has a minimal look and is functionally good, as good as any other guard out there. So uh, it doesn't really look too flashy or weirdly shaped, has straight crisp lines. So I like it better than the most complex looking ones and just went for that. And then down here I have the RNG radiator and down pipe guards. They are basically there to protect against debris that gets slung back to the radiator or the down pipe by the front tire or when you're racing on the track and yeah, the debris gets slung over by rear tires of the riders riding in front of you and that debris can be quite damaging to um, the radiator or the downpipe in certain cases if it's like uh, slung at a really high speed. Uh, it doesn't happen too often but it's better to you know protect than to fix later on. So I just went for this for that reason. Uh, it'll be probably uh, mostly helpful on the track and maybe not on the street. And up here I have the RNG frame sliders. Uh, I went for the non-drill kit, so it comes with the slider, the replacement fender, and an additional metal plate to hold the contraption in place securely. It feels quite secure and strong. Uh, same thing on the other side, obviously. The next up, I installed the RNG race engine covers. They cover up the entire case and also the hideous looking olive green color underneath. So that's the, it's like hitting two birds with one stone, you know, you have protection and then you make the bike look a bit cooler because everything is now black finally. Well, not everything, but mostly I'm getting there. Back here, I removed the rear foot pegs and bolted in the RNG tie downs. Uh, these tie downs are basically uh, added as tether points to the motorcycle through which you can securely tie down uh, the harness use the harness to tie down the motorcycle on the trailer and uh, usually the tie down is done through various spots like through the, the wheels or attaching at the handlebars but I was like because I'm going to be replacing um, the uh, rear foot pegs with uh, blanks anyway I thought I might as well go for the ones which have some use to it so went for um, these then down here is additional protection for the OEM muffler. I'm not a big fan of the aftermarket super loud illegal slip-ons as they grab a lot of attention, which is quite contradictory to the whole look of the bike, which is, you know, to make it look stealthy and not grab too much attention by people around or the cops. 
So I'm sticking to the stock muffler, um, so I thought I might as well protect it as much as I can. And then up here is the RNG tail tidy. Uh, it replaced the stock tail, uh, which was quite bulky actually, uh, just like most stock tails uh, on the market. I really like it as it has almost uh, removed the entire tail section and tightened up the rear end of the motorcycle, making it look even sportier and a bit higher. And uh, it's perfectly legal because it has points to uh, mount the stock indicator LEDs and also um, LED for the license plate illumination. Spools down here again by RNG. They also provide some crash protection, I believe, uh, to the swing arm. So again, serving dual purpose spools with some protection to the rear. Uh, then up here on the center of the tank, I have the Motographics tank pads, carbon fiber look. I really like the carbon fiber look, by the way. I mean, who doesn't? Everyone does. And it kind of also complements my alias, carbon, which I've been using for a while now. I also put uh, some fuel cap stickers. These are by Pouge, again, carbon fiber graphic. Uh, it looks cool and also helps protect against accidental scuff marks during refueling as it has happened to me before so I definitely find these useful. There are some marks underneath the cap which you won't be able to see because of these stickers so I'm, I'm good with that. And uh, last on the list is the RNG tank grips. These are the thin lightly grippy ones uh, similar to the uh, grip on the skateboards if you have noticed. Well, not as abrasive though, but similar similar pattern, uh, slightly softer. They're very thin, again, very discreet. They don't stick out too much. They don't grab onto everything. And so that's it. Uh, these are the only mods uh, that I have done to the body of the motorcycle so far. The only mod that isn't here yet, and I'm waiting to receive it because it's been ordered, but it's taking some time to arrive, is the Pooj Down Four Swings. Uh, once I have them, I'll post another video with some track and pan shots of the whole motorcycle. Also, when it's a bit cleaner, sorry for the water and dirt spots on it. It's actually rainy season here in my city, so um, it's very hard to keep the bike clean all the time. Anyway, so these wings will be the last body mod I'll be doing to the Fireblade Night Fury. And after that, I'm pretty much set to just ride and enjoy. So I hope you enjoyed the video, thanks for watching, and if you ride motorcycles, ride safe. Peace.